I've struggled previously to melt aluminium with wood, but it turns out it's not too difficult. This, combined with the paint can furnace, means that you can melt aluminium completely free. You just need some aluminium. Turns out, if you use a hairdryer for the air supply, you can get the temperature high enough. So no need to spend cash on charcoal, you can just head out and collect some wood. It's worth having a watch of the melting metal with a paint can video. But to melt aluminium for free, we'll need a paint can with holes in it, a tin can for the crucible, both these need to be made of steel, wood as fuel, and a hairdryer to increase the airflow. So we've mastered it, melting aluminium with wood. Now you should be able to get hold of these parts pretty easy. Just make sure the paint can and the tin can are made of steel. You can check this with a magnet. If it's magnetic, it's most likely steel. Like I've said previously, the furnace and the crucible can be anything of a suitable size that's made from steel. Just make sure you make yourself scarce while the coatings burn off. And if you are using a tin can, make sure you use a new one each time as it won't take long for it to burn through and you certainly don't want molten metal everywhere. I'm glad we've figured out how to use wood to melt aluminium. It's going to be pretty useful to melt with fully salvaged bits. If you've not already subscribed and you've enjoyed the video then please do because it helps the channel grow and me bring bigger projects to you.